All right, so Sunday morning, and we're here at, uh, yeah, Borco's Open Cut. Have the night, beautiful spot here, and anyway, yeah, it's a bit of brekkie, a bit of leftover dinner, and uh, we think we'll head up to, uh, towards Gunda Windy today. Toddy's got to head back to work, and we'll uh, head up, we're going to go to see Kaido, he's up on Honey Coast, so basically head from here to Kaido's house, where he's staying, through Gunda Windy sort of thing, and then head south from there. Might as well quick look around the camp, the old 76 is back. The desert cruiser, Jake's been staying in that, so yeah, it's great to see the 76 back on the road. It actually, it's been over in Perth for a little while, I borrowed it to a mate for a few months, so a few people have been seeing it over there, and that's what it was, a, a mate borrowed it. Anyway, it's back now. 76, yeah, we've got this steering problem, it looks like, maybe we could chat to Borco last night, and it could be something to do with the steering arm, we think. A lot of uh, upgrades in the front end, but maybe the, the steering dampener is, hasn't been, isn't strong enough, so we're going to have a look at that. But it sounds like that could be the issue. Anyway, so we're going to try and get that fixed. The X tent, Mars, been sleeping in there, which is great. You know, that's going really good. Pops up real easy. We had our coffee this morning. Um, the truck is not much different to what we've done, you know, on previous trips. But we're not filling it up as much. It's not so packed. Although now we've got the baby, you know, it's, uh, you can't carry a fair bit extra gear, you know. Got the little swag for her. We've got, you know, clothes bag for her, nappy bag. So it's very good actually gear for a baby. Mars in the back here with little Bob. So that's working good. The Ranger is going good. Got the, this is our firewood. We got this in all of our shops. So this is um, Mountain Ash from Tumut. So when we go down to Tumut to deliver stock, we bring this back. So. This is, I think they they mill it for um, making pallets and stuff out of, but it's beautiful, straight timber. Splits really well, very dry. And so we bring that back in big bags and then we cut it up and we put it in these um, firewood bags, which is sort of like a, a little bit smaller respect to bush bag. It's got the um, velcro on it. Okay, so when you buy this, you get this bag with it, of course, but it's a re reusable bag. Okay, so it's basically a rubbish bag. So once you use the firewood, you can use this for rubbish and if you use it for rubbish take it home don't throw it out it's a good bag we sell those normally for about five six dollars so keep that and you can use that for more firewood or rubbish you know but it's got the little velcro on there yeah the 1.6 light cruise is going really good nice and light um plenty of room piles over this is on the wildland tub rack as well so a lot of people get into tub racks that sort of thing now and this sort of setup so rather than a dedicated canopy and uh, yeah, it's going good. The van's going awesome, eh? So there's been, if you have a look in here, there's been no dust getting in the kitchen. A few bugs from last night, but not getting any dust in anywhere, which is good. Uh, no dust in the top, no dust in the door. Uh, you can see there's a bit of dust getting around the outside here. I've got my little dust filter on there. All right, but no dust getting in there. This is one thing on. I've found we're going to make because uh, a little cover for this step because uh, that's tucked up underneath there and it gets covered in mud and then you're stepping from there straight inside so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this bit of um, marine carpet I'm putting it there but it slips off you know so what it needs is I'm probably I'm going to um, sew a side, some sides on it so it sits over we can sew some binding inside and just a little clip or two clips a bit of velcro maybe and then you can just fit that on there because yeah that's gonna be muddy and you just this can store in there come there clip on and then that'll be a nice little step but yeah not getting any dust inside having this fridge outside's great getting your beers and everything out that's working really good the kitchen outside is brilliant and in here it's um oh it's just perfect haven't been able to well i haven't used it yet but you know don't want to use the toilet at night is so handy uh, a little chain over here for bub Right, so that's really nice spot there. You got we're sort of using this for <coughs> storage, just all the bags and things. Um, vacuum cleaner to suck up the odd mozzie that gets in. These lights are great. You know, we want a little bit of light at night for when Bob wakes up. So these lights are great. We can put one over there, which isn't disturbing over here. I've been leaving that on. Um, hot water's been running good. 
these little pockets, I don't know if you can see that Jake, but I put a pocket there for Darren for water and phone and a bit of milk and stuff. So that's working great. I'm going to get another one for me over here because uh, I haven't sort of got anywhere to put my phone and glasses. So I'm going to put a little pocket here, which would be good. Just these little pockets to stick on. Uh, this shelf space up here is brilliant. It's so handy to put all your clothes up there. And yeah, what I love most about this is the diesel heater. You can just, in the morning, you know, at night time, 12 o'clock or 5 o'clock feeding bub, you just press the button and then about two minutes later, hot air is pouring out of it. So that's luxury. Uh, works really good. Just turn it on and off. So diesel heater is probably my favourite. And uh, the toilet's probably Darren's favourite, you know, so... Yeah, no, it's working great. I wouldn't change anything really. It's got good power points around, good, you know, for charging things. Um, toes really well, so here's our water. So we're getting a bit low, 26 on the water and 44, so half a tank and maybe a third quarter of a tank. So we'll probably get a bit of water later on. Otherwise it's going great. Um, this table's great, see that? All these bags here just fit inside here when you, once you pack it up, so that's working really well. This table's brilliant. And front box, plenty of room there. We've got our charcoal in this box. All right, charcoal's there. This side I'm not using for a lot, but that spare handle goes in there and level. So I've got that spare. Plenty of room here for different things. Bags and, you know, solar panel. I've got a, a portable solar. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can see that there, there's basically no dust getting in, you've got the battery, the hot water, uh, and it's so easy to set up, just pull this out, it sort of flips out, folds out. No, it's great, it's the first time in the caravan these last few days, and well, I love this little thing, it's not too big, wouldn't change a thing on it, just some little extras we're putting on, little pockets here and there. But otherwise, it's it's luxury camping, you know. We've got everything you need. I mean, yeah, they shower, hot shower, and toilet for the missus is pretty pretty good. And um, no, very lucky. All right, so we're gonna head we're gonna head to Jake's Opal Field this morning. He's got uh, a claim there he's working on, so we're gonna go have a look at that and then head north. All right. So last time Luke was here, we had um, that hoist yeah. in this truck. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, the, the other boys did, sorry, when we came out to visit them last. Yeah. And then we upgraded, we got that truck, that van full of tools and stuff, and another hoist for $4,000. Uh -huh. And then we sold the hoist for a thousand bucks because it was crap and it was just yeah. wouldn't work. Yeah. yeah. We'll buy a new one. And then we got this one, yeah, off the guy next well, door. Well, never thought, just need the money out. Yeah, so, so we, yeah, we dig it at the face yeah. and then bring it from where we're digging. Yeah. We bring it to this bucket here at this hole. Yeah. And then, yeah, then we um, bring it up, dump it into the truck. And then if, it, if it's got some good stuff in it, we'll dump it on the claim and yeah. then wash it later wash in it. like a big mixer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if not, we just run it. You know the big white dumps, the big uh -huh. white piles of dirt that you drove past. Uh -huh. That's all like dirt that the people. Big dump. Yeah, uh -huh. it's all like tow dirt and stuff that people think there's no opal in. You know, so we all go and dump it in the same spot. Yeah. And then. Um, but just free. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Don't need to pay anything. Yeah. What about just the this one? Need to pay anything? Yeah. So, well, it depends how deep you are. Uh, okay. Um, to get a whole drill, yeah. I think it's like twelve bucks a foot or something. Uh, um, to get a hole drilled, three footer, yeah. and the land is depends. Just depends, like what scheme you're on. You can go on a bond scheme, mm -hmm. and the lands. Um, anyone go check down there? Or? Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You just you have to have your miners course. Uh -huh. um, and in certain areas like this, this farm here, yeah. you need an environmental course. So when you're done with the claim, you have to rehabilitate it, get all the white dirt off your land, make it look like you weren't there, you know. Yeah. And um, still up the hole. Yeah, only in certain properties. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. But if you've done your miners course in other fields, yeah. you can go go on the ground. You know, yeah, you right. got to go and peg a claim and stuff first. But yeah. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. About twelve hundred bucks to peg a claim. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we'll go underground and have a look. Yeah, there's a tower up on there. Can yeah, the... yeah. How yeah, much fuel you use every day? Uh, thirty liters a day. A day. Yeah, yeah. 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 Diesel well, journey. Twenty liters a day. Yeah, uh, yeah. twenty-five, thirty liters. Yeah. So it costs us forty bucks a day to run. It's cheap as, <laughs> and we move a lot of dirt. We'll do. We can do like three of these a day easily if everything's yeah. running smooth. Yeah. yeah three trucks a day so how do you find out it's a good good load you know it's just you find a little bit piece in the wall yeah you'll yeah. see it you yeah. see it once you dig yeah. okay yeah and then if you see a bit of color that like yeah you were like oh i didn't see that before we'll go oh there might be something else you know that we missed so yeah. we'll just dump it on the claim and wash it wash it and... yeah and that um power pack runs as a digger that's full of hydraulic oil and a big electric motor yeah right and it, it, it's the the power pack for the for the big uh, digger underground. Yeah, yeah, yeah the big machine. It digs yeah. it. We're we'll going to have a look. How how do you put that one inside? Uh, you got to like pull it apart into a few pieces. Pull it apart. Yeah, yeah. Then, and then as it's like hanging down underground, you put it back together. Back together and then yeah. Yeah, but you need a fair bit of room. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the, to drill the main hole, you, you get a company in yeah, to do I that. Yeah, uh, people around town. Oh, you just yeah. yeah, so you yeah. get that holes and. Yeah. And then you start going side on your own. Yeah, pretty much. Or or some people drill into old workings, you know. So there's or, it's already opened up. And, yeah, and then you just keep going deeper or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Let's go. We'll go underground and have Exciting. a look. Okay? Yeah. Exciting. You you do like support when you go side. Yeah. The, you? Yeah. You yeah? should. Yeah. Depends what sort of ground you're in as well. Yeah. Like how much you need. Okay. But um, it's not too bad here. Yeah. Experience or. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah 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 pretty much you just gotta have a look you know uh -huh. have a look at the ground every day and yeah. make sure mm. it's not coming down a little bit yeah so. exactly but the props also tell you what's what the roof's doing as well so mm. it's good to have props but yeah here's not too bad you'll see like we don't have any support it's okay pretty safe, yeah mm. yeah that was quick he's all over it now all over mate yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, where's mom. the main shaft uh over here we go down here oh yeah so 20 foot do you reckon yeah Pretty cool. You camped here sometime or you go back? Yeah, yeah. Kaido and I and Jaro, we've all camped out here. This one, yeah. Have you? Yeah. Hey? Yeah, it'd be alright. Well, we this is probably better to climb down because it's fixed ladder. But yeah. we normally just climb down the swinging ladders. Yeah, right. Nice. So this bucket is filled up and you load it up with this one, yeah. dump it in the truck. Yeah. It's good. Big bucket too. The bucket's like six foot deep. Yeah. Huge. Good. Yeah. Oh, we'll go down and have a look, eh? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Who's oh, carrying the baby? <laughs> <laughs> Boys aren't working today. <laughs> no, they were going to come out. <laughs> You're going to carry the, <laughs> the baby <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> oh, that's what you put up power pack over there above ground. So you put it underground and you can wheel it around. And yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so when you run out of um, uh, cable, yeah. be, uh, oh, yeah. hydraulic hose, you know, yeah. you just wheel it around to wherever you need. You need a torch, do you? Yeah. You got a headlight? Yeah, I've got one. I get one. Fred, you you got the Joker Joker helmet. Badass Joker helmet. So that's. On. I'll make this starter swing to the <laughs>
22 foot. <laughs> yeah, safety boots are pretty good. Safety belt. Alright, Tony, you're on. Right, Bray, she dug once. She digging? Yeah. You're digging, Bray? Just wait, Jake. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you turn, Bray? Don't fall, mate. Well, you can see it up here. Yeah. It's pretty good. In, yeah. Wow. Does this go down again? Oh, uh, no, nah, that's just the monkey. Just for the uh, bucket, man. Six, six foot bucket, man. It's deep. It's a big bucket. Jeez, that's a good sized bucket, eh? Yeah, it's huge. And one of these fills it perfectly. Yeah, right. Yeah. That just dumps into there. Yep, yep. Yeah. So that's the thing you take apart into three pieces? Yeah, uh, no, so this one you just pull the wheels off, oh, yeah. the body comes off, and then it's just the base and the electric motor. That <laughs> comes off in the yeah, two parts. What yeah. are you doing? Oh, Change the, the wheel, are you? Sorry? You got a some point though. Yeah, the wheel studs are um, stripped. So I've got to uh, pull them up and change them and then drop it back down again. Yeah, right. Shouldn't take too long. It's always something, especially with old gear. Yeah. Just everything's just wearing. So where, where's your face when you're digging? Yeah, so we're digging around here. Have a look. But Logan dug all up with a hammer, jackhammer. Yeah. Got a nice little, you got a uh, 30 grand hit up in there, which is good, on the left. Wow. And then Ridge has dug this drive with the hammer around the other side of Logan. It's a bloody long drive. And we've been down here now. Yeah. That's you massive. You gonna arc this up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen my tractor I got? Like me excavated on the back of my tractor? Little Kabati, yeah, yeah. Oh, I could get that down here, eh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> little Kabatsu. Little Kabatsu. Pull it apart. Kabatsu. Oh, it's very handy. I've got a bucket and that's better. Yeah. Oh, yeah, then we've, we've sort of only just dug this drive, really. Yeah, right. It's been really hard. So you're just looking as you pull it off the wall, yeah? yeah? Pretty much, yeah. So, and in this slight area, you can sort of see what it's doing. You can see like, you know, the wall. See like up here. Mm, no good. So you can see it up. So, so once this starting, it develops more and more. You get nicer, nicer. Yeah, essentially, yeah, yeah. yeah essentially, yeah, so it's yeah. a good, good way to follow. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's a good, it's a good indication that it could be oval around. Yeah, because oh, yeah. yeah. you've got to have much time over. So. <laughs> and when okay. it's thick like that and it's dark as well, it's really, um, it's a good sign. Could be something. Yeah. Can you get Jake on the on the jackhammer? Yeah, yeah absolutely. You're gonna have a dig, Jake. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Bring him in. Yeah, we had on back as it. Here's the pot. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, knock him out, Tony. Nice wheel to money here. Oh, this, oh, this, oh, this, oh, this. Hey, that's a good spot. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. It's hard to find. Bloody hard ground, though. It's quite a come up here with guys, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This one here. Yeah. We haven't done this much work, man. I'm stuck the hammer. You don't think I'm missing. <laughs> <laughs> That's like. We'll dig this out. Look at this. Oh, wow. Black, too, so you never know. Wow. Ooh. Here. Yeah, it should, it should. 
Yeah. Oh, it's on the... As soon as the jetty's on. So the way to move it... You need to uh, grab it and forward. Yeah. Oh, like a plan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab it yourself. Put it up on the wheel. Good. Push that up to get more stable. Right now. <laughs> you find a good one yet? Yeah, they did uh, get a bit of rock. Yeah, I think that's how I have it. It's supposed to be good. Look at that. Yeah, that's cool, eh? You ever seen that before, like doing that? No, I never. It's pretty good, eh? What do you think? <laughs> I've got a little necklace for you. Yeah. That was cool to see you on the ground. Yeah, it was awesome, eh? Well, we're going to help take. He's going to blow out a hole, so we're going to go and have a look at that. Like with that big sucker over there? I'm going to suck this hole out and give Webby a hand. Oh, 
That's it. Straighten up. Whee! Squeeze in here, call it on a bro. Not a ton of room, but we've got just enough. Fire's going, charcoal's on. 76 is sitting there, nice. Uh, 79 just here. So that's going good, nice and level. Caravan's in fair bit away a fair bit. The bank up the way, we've got the handbrake on, of course. Got the stabilizers down, we've got the chocks then, so no risk of it moving. But a little step ladder, which is real handy that we've of keeping, haven't needed yet, but look at that, it's really handy there. And another thing that's great is, oh, these double chairs are good, eh? This is perfect for, you know, I can sit there, you know, you can fit three here easy, you know, so it's a bit of a family chair, really. This is Mars, Darren, his mum, above, so, care for kids, it's pretty much the same, you just need a little bit more gear, and you need to be a little bit organised, you know. But it helps a lot, Bob. She's she's a good kid, you know. She um she's no trouble. So, and when you're driving, the only problem we've found is that when you're driving, she sleeps, you know. So she basically slept all day, and then it's a little bit harder to get her down that night, you know. Because normally she'd be up during the day a little bit, you know. I mean they're sleeping a fair bit, but last night she took a while to settle because she'd been sleeping all day, you know. Otherwise, going good. <laughs> Um, these jockey wheels are so good. If I had a standard jockey wheel here, I would not be able to get that level. We've had to come down by that far, uh, by that far. you can see there. But these jockey wheels have got this adjustment here as well, which is brilliant. So what I've done is got it onto the stabilizers, I've lifted that up and then I can drop it, uh, drop it right down and still get plenty of um, adjustability there. So these are great. Right, so let's have a shower in the back. Jake reckons he wants to have a shower tonight, so <laughs> we'll uh, just put this up for him. I don't know why you can't just have a swim in the river. <laughs> all right, we've been on pretty dusty roads all day. And this here, I don't know who packed this up last, Jake. Looks like... I think I did with Toddy. Yeah, I think Ian Toddy did. Oh, jeez. This is normally thing that's fairly long, but here it's going to be um, a bit short, but... 
too bad. That's all right. So, I can put a couple of short ropes if you need to down to a peg. And here's uh, Let's see how the hot water goes. Hot only. We've been here probably 30 minutes. It's cold. Turn the gas on since I got here. Let's see. Should start. Yeah, it's not come pretty hot yet. We might need to check the switch, Jake. Yeah? Anyway, we've got Sorry. water. I'll wait up. Yeah, I'm on hot. How quick is it start? Uh, should just be able to turn the gas bottle on. See the hot water there, Danny? Mm. Ah, the light's on here, Jake. Oh, okay. So what did you do last time? I just switch it off and then I turn it on again. Just wait a little bit. Yeah. And then it clicked. And for some reason, there's a reset in there. When that light's on, it's not, not turning on. So turn it off, turn it on again, and that will now heat up. Oh, let's have a look at the bedroom floor down. Mm. Okay. The only thing I've been locking is these lockers here. I haven't worried about locking anything else. Yeah. I know some people lock everything up. Um, and the other thing too, it's a bit sticky trying to get into these. So I sprayed a little bit of... Uh, Electrical silicon spray this morning and just so much easier to get the keys in. So yeah, because this lock here, I've only got a bumper that'll come undone. So I've been locking those with these very hard. Well, it's not easy for them to bump open. Anyway. That just lifts up. Okay, see how easy it was when you got properly. Sit. All right, we filled up water. So these tanks we found were uh, about 40% and 70%. So you can pretty much say we've used one tank. They only had a long shower last night, washed the hair. Toilet was also full, or well, pretty much full. It's showing a red button, red on the, on the dash in there. So we've emptied that RV dump point in um, Lightning Ridge. So it sort of did two full days, two people. Down in my but um, we've got to get Ma to be flushing a bit less. You know, got to be pretty conservative on water. So I think she's flushing too much. But I think we'll be able to get by with the three of us. You know, three days uh, once we get going, a little bit more careful with water. I had plenty of water. That's good. All right. Very good. Nice little camp. You gonna have a shower? What? Hmm? You gonna have a shower? Yeah, well, get a shower and... Uh, How long it takes for that hot water to come from? Oh, here? I just wait probably 10 minutes, 5 minutes. Fair way to come from right at the front all the way to the back. You just wait. Give it 10 minutes. Hmm. All right, so I think we've done anything else you want, Darren? Um, I want that vacuum. What? The steam. Okay, so it's got a... Oh, this is the important thing. I've got to whack a new bar and chain on the chainsaw. So you want this plugged in? Turn it on there. Um, Some power, plug in. And that one in there. 
and I'll just turn on that power point. That's it. That's it. Right there. Sit down that beer, I think. Oh, good. 